So copper is the new big trend and people are not really hopping on board after they've come up with a lot of new studies about copper. So copper, the metal, just like the silver metal. You may have heard of it things. before. I don't know if anyone wants me to refer to anything else as copper, but yes. So <laughs> um, has amazing antibacterial uh, characteristics. So unlike lots of other metals that just kind of hold on to the bacteria and viruses that lay on top of it, um, copper actually breaks up the bacteria when it comes in contact with it to make it inactive. So if someone with um, just a general virus touches a copper handrail or something along those lines, the copper reacts to it and it becomes dead at that point. I, there's, I can't think of a better way to say it. And inactive. Right. So the next person that touches it does not get the virus as they would if they were touching a stainless steel handle, handle or um, any other kind of metal handle. So the reason this is coming into play is because one of the largest theme parks in Chile uh, has replaced all of its frequently touched locations with copper and they have seen a drastic decline in viruses being spread amongst the groups of people that are visiting these times or locations. So copper has always been exploited for health purposes all the way from Egyptian to Babylonian soldiers um, would use it on their bronze swords after a battle and place the filings in the wounds to reduce infection and speed healing. So I didn't know this about copper personally, but I think it's super interesting and I'm surprised that more hospitals are not putting it into their, I guess, handrails and locations that people touch often. Sure. I mean, I think it's a no brainer for hospitals um, when you have information like this. Now, um, one of the biggest problems that come up in hospitals is you end up in a situation where patients are infecting each other and yeah. uh, doctors and nurses go through great lengths to make sure that they are not spreading infection between the patients but the fact of the matter is it's very very likely to happen um, there are surfaces all around the place and you know hospitals have recently tie into our last story uh, installed like hand sanitizer pumps all over the place like saying like always sanitize yourself always sanitize yourself um, but if you're in a situation where there are all these surfaces that could potentially be replaced by copper or copper plating, which are like dead zones for infection, um, it seems like a no-brainer. Like maybe, uh, I know a good place where uh, disease travels is like elevators and elevator mm -hmm. buttons. Yeah. Maybe you just cover that whole panel in copper instead of having, you know, steel or whatever. Um, and, you know, hospitals are going to be worried like, okay, maybe this is too expensive. Yeah. Um, but the study has actually shown that it pays for itself in just two months um, in terms of the cost that you're going to incur from uh, additional and longer stays at the hospital, nurses and doctors becoming ill, it pays for itself. Yeah, and I think that's super important to keep in mind. Yes, there are lots lots of quick fixes to this problem, like the hand sanitizer, but I think there are also super long-term uh, fixes that could help you. So the main reason that they do pick stainless steel is because it's easier to clean, it's shiny, you can get everything off of it. But in truth, there are lots of crevices and cracks in the stainless steel that are microscopic that hold on to those germs so they're never actually truly clean, um, which copper does not have the same reaction to. So I think it's definitely something to keep in mind. I hope in the future that there's more copper usage, but I know that it is extremely expensive and I know pushing a project like that initially <laughs> is the hardest part. Yeah, um, it's just getting people on board. Yeah, and I think lots of other places in the world are going to start doing it, and then America will finally hop on the bandwagon and see that it's USA. worthwhile. Yep.